I'm Anil Kumar, and in this video, we'll try to understand how to find the combination of elements when we have identical elements and some restrictions. Example for us is, consider a standard deck of 52 cards. A. How many different five card hands could have at least one spade? And B is, how many different five card hands could have at least two face cards? You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, as you know, a 52 card standard deck will actually have four suits. Spades is one of them. So in 52 cards, we have spades. I made it upside down. Uh, we have hearts. Okay. Diamonds. Let me write here. And clubs. There are 13 cards of each. All right. There are 13 cards of each. And uh, there are 12 face cards. The face cards are Jack, King and Queen. I should have written Queen and King. Anyway. So three face cards for each color or suit makes it 12. So, so as you can understand, one speed, the first part is how many different five card hands could have at least one spade. Now how can you do that? At least one spade also means that we are looking for a hand which has one spade, two spade, three spade, four spade or all five spades. So that is the meaning of at least one spade. Alternate way of doing this is find all possible hands And from them, take away hands without spades. So this is a very effective way of getting to the answer. Now, what are all possible hands? Since there are 52 cards, we are dealing 5 to each. So 52 C5 are all possible hands. And we'll take away hands without spades means if you take away 13, so let's write 52 minus 13. We are left with 39 cards. So that means out of 39, 5 were dealt. So we will not have any spade cards. And that difference will give us the answer. Right? So let's do the calculation. So 52 combination. We are dealing 5 cards. And from here, we are going to take away 39 c5 and that is equals to a very big number which is 2023203 so that becomes the answer for part a i hope the concept is clear right now let's look into the second case how many different five card hands could have at least two face cards at least two face cards so there are 12 face cards, right? So let's think about it. So we have 12 face cards plus 42 other cards. Since the total is 52, is it okay? Now we want at least two face cards. That means we could have two face cards, three face cards, four or five face cards, right? So we could have two face cards, plus three face cards, plus four face cards, plus five face cards, correct? So we have in all one, two, three, four cases. Do you see that? So such 
examples where you find restrictions imposed, we may actually look for cases and then solve, right? So we do have identical elements. We are saying in this case, all spades may or may not be included. Here, we are treating face cards as identical elements, right? Okay, two face cards. So these two face cards are out of 12, right? Are out of 12, so we get 12C2. If I deal two face cards, I have to deal three cards which are not face cards, so 40C3. Plus three face cards, right? So if there are three face cards, then it is 12C3 times 40C2, right? With four face cards, I'll add 12C4 times 40C1. Total should be five. And uh, five face cards means 40C, I'm sorry. Face cards are out of 12, so 12C5, uh, five, all five, right? or you could say 40 C0. So that becomes the answer for this part, right? So you can calculate using a calculator. So we have 12 C2 times 40 C3 plus 12 C3 times 40 C2 plus 12C4 times 40C1, 40C1 plus 12C5, 5, okay? And you know, times, you could write, you could write times 40C0, right? And that gives you the answer, which is 844272. So we'll write this answer as 844272, right? So that is how we can use combinations where restrictions are given to us and there are some identical elements. So I hope with this and the previous videos where we discuss combinations with identical elements will help us and you especially to do better in this chapter. Thanks for watching my videos. If you have any doubts, feel free to post your questions. Share my videos and write comments. Thank you and all the best.